Welcome to this video on adding text to your cells that are used within a formula in Microsoft Excel. So this is a neat little trick that may help the visibility, the readability of your data in Excel, but also allow you to continue to do your formulas and functions and all of that stuff. So it's one that I came across recently and I thought I'd share because you might find this quite useful. So I have a really basic set of data in front of me and I have a calculation on the order amount. And if I go to that cell at the bottom, you can see it's a super simple sum and it's calculating the order amounts above that into one thing. Now there's only numbers there and if I've got a lot of data and I scroll down and I don't want to freeze my panes or anything like that, I might struggle to understand what type of data I'm looking at, especially if you've got different types. So you might have units, or packages. So you might need to be clarifying constantly what data that user is looking at. And to do that really easily, you'd maybe want to put 150 units in there. But as soon as you start adding any text, the calculation cannot work because it's seeing that text in there and it's confusing it. So I want to show you a nice little workaround like that. So just to caveat what I'm what version of the system I'm using. I am on a Windows device, I'm using Excel on the desktop, and I have a 365 license. So let's have a look at what happens if I just add it in. Let's just pay attention at the bottom to the total, it's 1260. Let's go into that second cell, and then what I want to do is just use the function bar at the top to type in units, and notice that my total's gone down, the data's gone to the left-hand side, it's taken that information out of my calculation because I've put text in it. And that's what we don't want to happen. But having that unit information in there is going to be quite helpful to other users that are reading the data to help them understand exactly what they're looking at. So let's just come out of that. Undo that is the word I'm looking for. And let's show you how to fix this. So I'm going to go into that top cell and I'm going to right click. When I right click, I need to scroll down and look at format cells. So we need to be in format cells. And I'm just going to put that over to the right hand side so we can see it really nicely. And to do this, I need to go into the custom option. When I click on the custom option, it will default to general. And I want to press on the zero one. And then I'm just going to type some information in here. So I'm going to leave the zero because I want the figure to be shown in my on my cell and I want it to calculate. And then I'm going to put a speech mark next to it. And then I'm going to put my word that I want. And finally, a speech mark. So you'll see the sample at the top that will help you understand if you've done it right. Now, there's no space between 150 and units. So I'm going to physically go back to in front of units and put in, I'm just moving my cursor so you can see that, put in that space. So that sample is going to really help you understand if it's going to present in the way you want it to. Do remember to put those speech marks in there because then it will work really nicely. But use a sample to make sure you've got the spaces in the right place and it presents the way you would want to. And let's just remember the total at the bottom is 1260. When I put units in previously, it reduced that total. Let's see what happens to it now. So that total at the bottom has stayed the same, but I've now got that unit option in there. So that's really, really nice. And obviously, if I want to go in and do all of them, then I would just select all of them. Right click, format cells. Remember, and I'll move this again so it's nice and big in the middle, to custom, to zero. Remember what we did, we did speech mark, the space, units, speech mark, and you can see there, it's looking nicely. It's looking at the top one to give you a sample example. Again, let's just go back to our table. The total is 1260, that should not change, and it hasn't changed. So now when I'm looking at that data, especially if there's loads and loads of data, I can see it's exactly talking about units or packages or containers or whatever other reference word you want to use with that data. And I can add that in, but it doesn't matter what I put in. 
it's still going to show there. And really interestingly, when I select one of those options, just have a look at the formula bar. It's not showing the word units. It's just part of the formatting that's there from a visual point of view. But actually, the data in the cell that Excel is reading is just the number. So I can easily go in and change that, and it will update it. So I'll put 60 in there and press Enter. So it's updated the total. It's kept units on there really, really nicely. Um, and it just looks nice, but it's still allowing me to do the calculation, which is a really nice, funky little tip that I think some of you might find it quite useful. So one to have a play around with. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.